here again. Welcome back to Sew, Learn, Create. If you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you like this video, be sure you give it a thumbs up. Today's project is a great scrap buster. If you sew a lot, like I do, you have tons of scraps. And this takes five pieces of fabric that are only five inch squares. It's a coaster. It's a great gift and a quick, easy sew. Let's get started. For today's project, the fabric coaster, you're going to need five pieces of fabric that are five by five inches square, one piece of batting that is five by five, some scissors, either clips or pins to make our project. You can either hand sew this project or you can sew it on a machine. Also, you can use scraps from your bag, scrap bag like I have a lot of, or charm squares work really well for this. If you're making gifts for a bunch of people, charm squares are fast and easy because they're all coordinated. Today I'm going to be using these five fabrics from my stash. And um, to start, we will fold all of our fabrics into the triangle um, shape and we choose one fabric for our base or our bottom. I'm going to choose one of the purple ones because I have two of those. So I'm going to set that to the side. Then I'm going to take all of my squares and I fold them in a triangle and just lightly finger press them. You're going to press it all nice and neat in before we finish so it'll be nice and pressed. But right now just finger pressing is fine. Then we're going to take our bottom piece we're going to line it up on our batting right side up. We're going to take our first square and since it's a square it doesn't really matter the order of where you start. And we're going to place the corners right here with the diagonal running this direction. Then I'm going to take my next square and I think I'll do the purple and I'm going to place these right triangle in this bottom corner and I'm going to overlap the triangle that I just first put down. Then I'm going to pick my next square and I'm going to place these corners in the next corner going over the second fabric I put down. The last one you place is the one that's a little bit tricky. Take your triangle and I'm going to place it in this corner but I want to pick up my first fabric, fold it back so that it makes this spinning pattern here. So all my fabrics are tucked under the one that is beside it. Then I'm going to take my Wonder Clips. I prefer Wonder Clips because they're easier than pens to me. And I'm going to clip it all the way around. Just so it doesn't slide on me when I either hand sew it or machine sew it. I'm going to go all the way around, making sure I catch those corners really well. Then we're going to take it over to the machine. Now we're at the sewing machine. Just to go over to make sure we've got everything placed right, your batting is on the back, you have your four fabrics folded on the top, and to make sure that our bottom piece is cur turned correctly, I always do a sneak peek, and if you pull your four fabrics back and you see your bottom fabric face up, you know you have, have everything correct. At the machine or hand stitching, we're going to stitch all the way around the outside edges. I like to use my quarter inch foot. Gives me a nice guide and I want to start in the middle of one of the sides. I don't want to start at a corner because it's hard to get those corners without catching them in the bobbin. So we just start our machine and we're going to stitch all the way around. Be 
Be sure to back stitch a little bit at the beginning. And when you get to those corners, just take it nice and slow. Pivot about a quarter of an inch from the corner and continue on. Pivot again. One last turn, and then we're going to just back stitch over our stitches where we started. Clip our threads, and we're ready for the next step. Now we finish sewing. We've gone around all four edges, and I've pressed it in the middle so my seam, my edges are a little crisper. One thing I like to do before I clip and turn is I flip it over on the back and I make sure that it's caught all my fabrics on all four sides. If I'm close to the edge of my batting, on this project it's really not going to make a difference. Just as long as it's caught all my fabric, we're good. And if you notice, this corner is not exactly where it shifted on me a little bit, but it's really not going to matter either. So the next step is to take and clip your corners just so you get a little crisper corner when you turn it right side out. It's a little tricky because you're going through several layers of fabric but just take your time and make sure that you don't clip your stitching. And now for my favorite part. Starting from the center I'm going to turn my coaster right side out. And you want to make sure that your bottom fabric is on the bottom and all of your curved fabric or folded fabric is on the top. Then take a chopstick or the edge of your scissors, something that's pointy but not too pointy, and just give those corners a little push. Do it kind of slow so you make sure that you don't push through your stitching. Kind of work them out a little bit. Sometimes it goes, you have to go around a couple of times and you're just doing that from the center. and you're done. You're going to give it one more good press and you can kind of adjust it when you're pressing. If you have one that needs to lay down a little bit, call it what we do in the quilting world, press it, press it into submission and it usually will. And our coaster's finished. Makes a great place for your drink and they're a fun, quick, easy project. I have some other suggestions for fabrics. If you have a, a kid who's having a birthday party and you um, want to do something that they can take home and sew, I did kits for some of my classes and I included the five fabrics. The instructions are on my blog, the written instructions, so I included that and then there's a piece of batting folded in the middle. It made a great take-home project. Also, they make great gifts quick easy project great for teachers friends family at the holiday time this one I used two different fabrics as opposed to the five and then I included a bag of hot chocolate mix or apple cider put it in a little bag with a tag and they make a quick easy inexpensive gift that everybody can use one last thought 
is if you want to make them Christmas coasters. Make a set of four or six and give as a gift that way. This is four or five different uh, Christmas fabrics here, but actually this one is the same. I just turned it over so I could use on the back the solid instead of the stripe. I hope you enjoyed this, fa this project today from So Learn Create. If you haven't done so, be sure you set subscribe and click that bell notification so you'll get notified whenever I do another video. Thank you and see you later.